Good morning and welcome to Rockler's Demo. This little wall shelf is a great little organizing project. Good for an entryway or a kid's room. It's fun to build and it's easy to build. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal and I'm gonna build that wall shelf using just these few tools. To get started, I'm gonna cut pieces out of this one by 10. It's eight feet long. I got it at the local big box store for under 30 bucks. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. While not always thought of as a cross-cutting tool, this jigsaw will do the job, especially with a little guidance from a speed square. It's a handy trick to keep in mind. And another important idea is to support the piece of wood being cut off. With both pieces now cross-cut to 24 inches, the next step is to rip this piece into the correct width for the shelf. Now, all of the details such as shelf width, lengths, the material list, Exploded view are all in the technical drawings that you can find in the details below. I needed to form a groove in the shelf back with a router, and I needed a way to guide it, so I made this stone simple guide fence. I screwed a straight piece of stock to an eighth inch thick piece of hardboard. Then, with a half inch straight bit chucked into the router, I trimmed the hardboard with the router. Now I have a guide and a way to locate the cutter in one simple jig. Now it's time to get busy. In addition to helping me plow a groove, this jig will help me clean up the edge of the shelf. Just clamp it in place and slowly make the cut. To keep the shelf from moving around, I use double-sided tape. Now I'm going to plow a groove into the shelf back. Eventually the shelf will fit into that and be glued in place. That groove is called a housing sometimes. I'm gonna form that using a half inch router bit in two passes. Why? The shelf is approximately three quarters of an inch thick, but not exactly. So the two step process lets me cut it accurately. Let me demonstrate for you. Set the depth of the router bit to three eighths of an inch and make the first pass. Cut slowly and listen to the router. If it starts to bog down, slow the speed of the cut. With that done, take the shelf and place it over the groove and mark a couple of ticks to show the exact width of the shelf. Then locate the jig on those marks to make the second cut. Test the fit of the shelf in the groove you made. And if it's a little too tight like it is right here, that's fine. I'm just gonna put the jig on there and clean it up a little bit more. If it's too big, like way too big, it's not a disaster. You can take a little piece of wood and fill it in the gap, and then take another shot at the groove. No one will see it, no one will know. There's just two more pieces to make the shelf supports. Now is the time to add some details to our currently squared up pieces. The jigsaw is just a tool for that. You can find these shapes on the drawings, but you can make your own designs if you'd like. I need to drill a few countersunk holes now. Two each for the shelf supports, two in the shelf back, those are at 16 on center, for mounting it to the wall. After I'm done drilling, you know what? Sanding. Sanding is something that just needs to be done. But this random orbit sander from DeWalt makes it a very manageable task. Take your time, starting with 100 grit and working up to 180 grit. And remember, move the sander only about one inch per second as you're working it. Now take a few minutes to apply a few coats of spray shellac. This will serve as an actual clear finish for the back and the shelf supports. Keep the shellac out of the groove and off the back of the shelf where you'll be gluing it together later. I used masking tape for that. And it'll be a seal coat or a primer coat, if you will, for the painted shelf. Now for the last details. I clamped the shelf into the groove with glue, checked it for square. When that was cured, I went ahead and mounted the shelf support with screws and plugged the holes. And finally, added hooks to complete the project. So that wraps up this little project and today's demo. This cute little shelf could grace a wall near you in short order. And all it took was three basic tools to build it. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thank you for watching.